Hey guys, it's been a pretty busy day today, pulling splits off. Um, going down the line, pulling two frames of brood, one frame of food, and two foundation. Uh, some of them needed an extra shake of bees, but most didn't. I'm pretty pleased with how they looked. I uh, should have done this yesterday, but um, other things came up and I ended up having some cells emerging this morning. So I ended up with a bunch of virgins, um, like a dozen or so before I got the rest of these in. Uh, I marked the nukes that took virgins and the ones with cells so I can have a little comparison going on. Uh, I introduced them through the front door. So uh, I was going to show you guys how I introduced them. You can see this girl in there. The way that I like to introduce virgins is by allowing them to walk in the front door. I've had more success with this method than by laying them on the top bars or uh, utilizing a candy plug or anything like that. Uh, the virgins can just walk in on their own volition. Uh, they're not accepted. They run back out. Uh, she may play tag uh, for a little bit, but eventually she'll walk in and be accepted. These jester boxes, as I set them out for mating nukes, I set them offset from one another. There are ventilation holes on the back side as well as the front. That's why I like to set it offset <clears throat> excuse me offset a little bit so that there's no confusion if it's butted up straight against each other uh, a lot of times they can kind of clump up right there so different colors on each end and offset and i set them off in pairs and space them about like that change directions a little bit here and there I'm just going down the line like that. You can put uh, as many as you'd like out as long as you have the drone combs in your production colonies to support them. Which this is a pretty big yard. So they should do good. And I'll check back in these here in... Uh, couple few weeks see how they're doing see if they got mated and hope for the best and I'll definitely make a video of when I check back but this is how I set them out these came from a different yard than this yard try to get uh, We'll mix and match going. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. I wanted to clarify a little bit about why I paint the nuke boxes. It's for queen orientation. I have better success by doing all these little things, getting queens back to the right boxes. Uh, offsetting the nukes, keeping them just two, one facing one way, one facing the other, uh, using different paint colors on the fronts, all help me get the queen back to the right box. Uh, sometimes when you have many lined up in a row like that, they can fly back to the wrong hole. Uh, that can cause you some issues or some failures, and it just is something to kind of even the playing Let me field. Take a moment to introduce the man in the photos in the video. His name is Robert Hodum. He's 83 years old. He's a retired commercial beekeeper. Uh, he is a great friend and mentor to me. I've learned so much from him over the years. Uh, his knowledge base is just staggering. Um, the man is extremely efficient in the bee yard, so I always pick up something from him just working with him and uh, observing his management, his movements um, because everything he does in the bee yard it has purpose and he's getting it done and getting it done quickly so uh, 
I've learned a tremendous amount from Robert on how to go from beekeeping for pleasure to beekeeping for profit. Um, <clears throat> that said, he's very efficient. That's why the, the video is as short as it is. So I hope you guys can forgive me for that one. He uh, he likes to keep things moving, and he doesn't really have time for the, the YouTubes on uh, while we're in the bee yard. So we ended up with a little bit shorter of a video. I had to come back after the fact, um, do a couple clips while he was wrapping up. But <clears throat> I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, it was a lot of work, but we had a great time, got a lot done. I picked up some some more uh, tips and tricks from Robert myself. Um, video, short as it is, I think there are some good tips and tricks in there for setting out your mating nooks and um, this part of the process. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and picked something up, and I'll catch you later.